Calvin Murray Sinclair was born on January 24th, 1951. He was the first indigenous judge appointed in the province of Manitoba and was appointed to the Senate of Canada on April 2nd, 2016. In November 2020, he announced his retirement from the Senate effective January 31st, 2021. He is a former member of the Canadian Senate and First Nations lawyer who served as chairman of the Indian Residential Schools Truth and Reconciliation Commission from 2009 to 2015. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission's mandate stemmed from the terms of the Indian Residential School Settlement Agreement as a means by which residential school survivors and former staff would inform the Canadian population about the truth of what happened in residential schools. They would document the account of survivors, former staff, families, communities, and anyone affected by residential schools to share their experience. They collected the statement of over 6,000 survivors and 200 former staff, all of which was compiled into a multi-volume final report released to the public on December 15, 2015. The report documented the history of residential schools and that the Government of Canada had legally mandated the forcible removal of children from their families and communities to indoctrinate them with traditional European Canadian values, which included the forcible removal of their language, culture, and practices. The ultimate conclusion of the report led that Canada had committed cultural genocide against their own Indigenous peoples. The report contained 94 calls to action and called upon all parts of Canadian society to commit to reconciliation and build a more respectful relationship between Indigenous peoples and non-Indigenous peoples. One of Sinclair's most popular quotes is, Reconciliation is not an Indigenous problem, it is a Canadian one. Sinclair acknowledges that reconciliation is going to be difficult, perhaps more difficult than getting at the truth behind residential schools in the first place, but it was something that had to be done. He addressed all of Canada when he stated, we have described for you a mountain. We have shown you the way to the top. We call upon you to do the climbing. For Sinclair's actions, he was bestowed upon many awards, some of which including the Peace Patron Award by the Mosaic Institute, the A.J. Christie Prize. He was awarded a National Aboriginal Achievement Award. He has received 20 honorary degrees for his work in the field of Aboriginal justice, a Canada World Peace Award in 2016, the Mandela Award, the Tarnopolsky Award for Human Rights from the International Federation of Jurists, and the Meritorious Service Cross for his service on the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Sinclair's impact on Canada might have not been as big while he was just on the Senate, but his impact with Truth and Reconciliation and spreading the news of residential schools to the mainstream of Canadian society is something that cannot be understated. As without Murray Sinclair, it is fair to say that most of Canadians would not know about residential schools or its impact. While not doing it single-handedly, him and his commission unveiled the biggest lie that the Canadian government was trying to cover up for decades. If you want to know more about Murray Sinclair, you can watch the short documentary, Honor to Senator Murray Sinclair, by acclaimed Indigenous director Alanis Obamsawin, or check out one of Murray Sinclair's many books, including Canada's Residential Schools, Part 1 and 2, Canada's Residential Schools, The Legacy, and What We Have Learned, Principles of Truth and Reconciliation. Murray Sinclair is still active today, and does speeches, and is still an advocate for truth and reconciliation within Canada. Thank you for watching, and if you want to know any more about important Indigenous peoples in Canada, make sure to check out the other videos on the Kena Now website. Thank you. Thank you.